Thank you, Mrs. Diamond and Mrs. Acacia. Uh, we just have one more a brief speaker for you here this evening. Um, as you know, or you may or may not know, Danbury High School is one of three schools in the uh, Danbury School District that has a school governance council. And uh, we're fortunate here today to have two of the members of the governance council here. We have Lynn Klein and Albert Schneider. Mr. Schneider is just going to come up and speak a few words about what the governance council is doing. Uh, and open point, Mr. Schneider. My name is Albert Schneider. I have a son who is a junior here at Danbury High School, and I'm part of the School Governance Council. The School Governance Council was something that was mandated by the state about two years ago, and it was focused on the lowest performing schools in Connecticut with the sole purpose of focusing on student achievement. So the School Governance Council here at Danbury is comprised of school staff. So there's several teachers on there, parents of which myself, Eileen, and some others are on there, community leaders, uh, so some representing the broader community here, and actually two students. Uh, we meet once a month. Actually, our next meeting is this Thursday, uh, which is open to all of you to come and attend. Uh, and again, our focus is on advising the school administration, Mr. Boccaccio and, and others, uh, on how we can really improve student and school performance. So we look very closely at the issues surrounding the students here, whether it is absenteeism, uh, the different changes to the curriculum here, security, a variety of different issues, again, all focused on how do we improve the overall student performance. Um, so let me maybe just pause on that. I mean, that's just really a high-level overview of what we do. Uh, our minutes are published on the website. So if you go to the Danbury School website, you will see that. Uh, we have our agenda, we have meeting minutes, uh, we have you know, different things that we've been sponsoring. Uh, again, in an advisory capacity. So let me just pause and see if there's any questions on the School Governance Council at Danbury. Yes? So if one was to come to the meeting, for example, on Thursday, would you be able to ask a question on XYZ test, XYZ curriculum, who made up this test kind of a thing? Or is it more, is it more of a general nature? I would say in general it, it's broader. Uh, the, the question was, could you ask a specific question on a specific curriculum? Um, you know, again, that might not be the best form for that. We, we tend to look at broader issues regarding that. Uh, that particular question might be better of either a guidance counselor or you know, someone else here at the school. Um, but if you ask the question there, I'm sure somebody would give you an answer. Any other? Questions? Comments? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Schneider. So to wrap up, I just want to thank everyone for coming out this evening. Um, just uh, for future reference, our meetings are usually held the fourth Monday of each month. Um, as I may have said at the opening of the school year, maybe once before, uh, historically this was the Danbury High School PTO, and we've been morphing over the past year or so into a parent action committee. Um, to make that work, we need a lot of parent volunteers, really to promote volunteerism in the school and to help raise money for the general school activities. Um, we have a lot of clubs and teams within the school that do a great job of raising their own funds for, for their own groups, but we really don't have the presence uh, in terms of raising money for the school as a whole uh, to help supplement some of the budget uh, constraints that currently exist. And again, we're not looking to raise millions of dollars, but every little bit helps. Every little bit that we can contribute to the school will help. So uh, starting out historically, the PTO would collect maybe 2000 maybe 3000 a year. And in the past, they would give that money out as scholarships to graduating seniors. We're now morphing into a model where we're going to try and raise more money uh, and raise that to kind of give gifts to school as we can, uh, as a lot of the lower level PTOs do on a more general basis to help supplement some of the funding 
that's needed for supplies, technology, etc. So uh, that work needs to be done. It needs to be coordinated by volunteers such as you that are here this evening and people that you might know who have students at the school. Uh, so anyone interested in volunteering, uh, you know, there's no, it's not too early to plan for next year as well, uh, but we really want to make this uh, work so every, every pair of hands will help. So uh, please see me or any of the other members of the committee who are here this evening. We have Elaine Morse and uh, Lisa Patel and I, Eileen Klein are here as well. Uh, and Karen, there's Karen. Okay, Karen's out in the back. So please see any one of us if you'd like some more information on how you can become more involved. And again, I'd like to thank you very much for attending this evening. Have a good night.